I just wanted to highlight Gumu Yushi's 1v2 play at the end versus Ruler and 369 where he pops off and double kills both of them. Now the play itself was amazing, it was hype as hell, but then watching it back over again in slow-mo, Guma played out of his mind and so I just wanted to show you guys, kind of observe how quickly he moves in such a short amount of time. So I'm just gonna play the clip right now with Kedril casting. Area dies, but look at Guma, 1v2, flashes the Q3 from HR, oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, that guy's APM is through the roof! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Did you see that? Absolutely Did crazy. This guy on your screen right now, he is an APM clicking, moving, orb walking machine. Now I'm going to show you guys the, the play again, but then in Lomo, we're going to just quickly observe what Guma Yushi does in this team fight. Carrier dies. Yeah, yeah, Kiria dies, like he says. Okay, so Ruler flashed in front of Guma Yushi, hits him with his first Q, and I think that's Bloodthirster's shield. I'm not too sure. It's one of the lifesteal shields that you, know, you get if you have max HP and you get excess shield. But Ruler hits him with that, completely takes out that shield and even 100 more HP just from his health bar. 369 is on him. And so what Ruler does, I mean, what Guma Yushi does, he flashes immediately, seeing those two on him, and he hits Derry first before he even um flashes so he hits his he gets his first auto attack off then flashes and as soon as he flashes he doesn't auto attack immediately he what he does is he sidesteps from his position because this is top level so i'm assuming gumayushi thought that ruler would react to his flash immediately so gumayushi sidesteps this as soon as he flashes misses or dodges another zeri q the only thing that hit him is th was that one zeri q in the beginning when ruler flashed and then 369 is score drinker and he's only this much HP. I'm gonna show you or it's gonna show later how much 1Q from Ruler does to Gumayushi and it's crazy. Like Gumayushi should have been dead in like 0.5 of a second. But then Gumayushi dodges that Q anyways, still auto attacking Ruler. Now 369 is on top of Ruler. The fact that he's still able to concentrate and auto attack Ruler specifically is crazy. Ruler's taking a chunk. He's already half HP, Guma's still full. There's two people on him. Dodges another, or blocks again to the left. Dodges Ruler's Q. The only thing that's hit him so far was that Gore Drinker, Ruler's first flash Q, and an auto attack from Aatrox. That's all that's hit him. Q's immediately, chunks Ruler, basically dead. And now I'm gonna sh it's gonna show here how much one Q and one auto from Zeri does. Guma Yushi. Okay, that was two actually. That was two. That was two Qs in one auto, and it did it did more than half of Guma Yushi's HP. Guma Yushi should have been dead a long time ago with three six nine and Gum and Ruler just on top of him. The fact that Guma Yushi, or like he dodged three Qs, which would have killed him. He dodged three Qs. I don't know what three six nine was doing. He probably missed all, or maybe his Q was on uh, cooldown, but. He was only hit by one Aatrox Q. He hits all of his auto attacks onto Ruler, Qs him, and still and gets him in the end. Still for half HP, still living. Gets another auto attack from Aatrox. So two auto attacks, two Zeri Qs. Took him to this much. And that was within a span of like, I don't know, 0.5 of a second. Because that was all near the end. Half the speed, but Kedro's word still stands. His APM is through the roof. Like he moved so quickly. Wow. Amazing. One more time. One more time. Gets hit by one. Dodgers, Dodgers. Get hit by two. Okay, so it's basically. He dodges two Qs. I would have killed him. Look at Guma, 1v2, flashes the Q3 from HR. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, that guy's APM is through the roof! Dodging two Qs, two Zeri Qs near the end. Or in the in the middle of the fight, save them. And just save this game, basically. Like, if Ruler was still alive after that fight, who, who's alive on T1's side? Aatrox, Ruler, Knight, and Missing versus 3. And it would have been so bad.
or I don't know, it's T1, so they probably come back. But Rumayushi is a god. T1's gonna win 3-0. Mark my words. <laughs>